Hello, good day everyone. Again, this is Miss Pretty Quen and I am here for the second part of identifying front office tools, equipment, and paraphernalia in front office. So, may I remind everyone who is watching this, this video lesson is made for the use of my students. Not for everyone, so please quit on bashing me because this is for my students para mas madaling maintindihan all right so before we proceed let me all right so let us have a review last video lesson we discussed about the different front office tools and these are the credit card voucher holder Number two, the currency detector. Three, the sundry stationary items. Four, credit card and printer. And then five, calculator. Also, I discussed in the last video the different front office equipment. And these are the computer, the printer, the cash register, the surveillance camera or the CCTV, and then the telephone and finally the fax machine so here in this video we're going to discuss about the paraphernalias and other front office forms okay so let's start with the different front office paraphernalia okay first picture anyone who has an idea what this paraphernalia is. It is described as used to hold the key room or the room keys of the hotel for safekeeping and proper organization. And Hayato? Okay, this is the key rock. As you can see here, yung key rock, dyan daw na yan, yung mga susi. But, uh, sa mga modern hotels, hindi na uso ang susi na ganito. Pero, let's take a closer look. Yan. Let's take a closer look. If you would notice, dito sa taas, there are different numbers that corresponds to the room numbers in the hotel. And a hook where the key should be placed. For example, this one. The number 234. Yan. <clears throat> So, here is the key for the room 234 and the keychain also indicates that if it is for room 234. Okay. Next, let us proceed to another paraphernalia. Okay, this one. What about this one? Have you seen this in movies, series, or anywhere? Kahit saan? Okay, so this is used to store valuable possessions like money and other important documents of guests. Ang tawag dito is safety deposit box. So let's take a look. Para saan daw? Diyan doon nila nagay yung mga mahalagang <clears throat> kagamitan ng mga guests sa hotel. Ito, ito yung usual na nakikita natin sa mga palabas na nasa loob ng bahay. Well, this one... This is what you call the safety deposit box in hotel. So, meron siyang mga numbers that tas may susi din siya. Ang tawag dito ay vault. Ang safety deposit box is this, the, color, the red one. Metal yan. Medyo nilagay siguro. Pwede nilagay dyan yung pera. Pero, no, usually pera. Probably the jewelry is mga lahas yun ang pinapaiwan kasi baka nga naman mawala sa loob ng room nila kapag lalabas ang guest ng hotel. Okay. So, that is the use of safety deposit box. Next. Okay. So, what I want you to do at is the tool or paraphernalia ito na suot niya. It is easy for public speaking applications to allow hands Way of operation. Ibig sabihin, para hindi na hawak yung mic. If you would remember, that is the clue. If you would remember, uh, teachers use this 
in when teaching before no yung kulay blue na may orange na nakasabit sa katawan ni teacher ang tawag diyan is lapel microphone para ma lakas ang boses ni teacher na hindi na pagkwersa yung, lal yung lalamunan yung throat para madinig so speaker ito tapos itong nasa may bibig that is the microphone okay so this is the microphone siguro nasa likod yung pinaka aparato niya that is the lapel microphone next next for paraphernalia okay maybe you have seen this in school before during the face to face period na so this is used to store maintain and protect hard copies of both internal and external document ano kaya ang tawag dyan filing cabinet okay this is pronounced as filing cabinet. Filing cabinet. Para saan daw siya? Diyan tinatago yung mga hard copies. Hard copies of both internal and external document. Yung mga documents na yun, probably yun yung mga <clears throat> record ng mga guests na nagstay sa hotel. Yung account book, yung mga gastos, yung ledger ng no hotel. Siya nakalagay. Because we cannot always rely on the electronic database o yung mga computerized. Kasi pwede yung ma-virus, pwede yung mawala. Okay? So, kailangan meron pa rin hard copies. At dyan nga yung nilalagay sa okay, sa filing cabinet. Very good. Next. Okay. So, meron nito yung pambatang version. <clears throat> but this is the real version of this tool and it is used by the security personnel to communicate with each other during their rounds in and around hotel premises. Saan daw ginagamit? Sino daw ang gumagamit? Si security personnel. Yung mga security guard. To para saan? <clears throat> to communicate with each other during, kailan? During their rounds. Kapag nag-iikot sila, saan? In and around hotel premises. Sa loob ng hotel at saka sa labas ng hotel, sa palibot ng hotel. Para masigurado yung kaligtasan ng mga guests. Okay, that is what we call the two-way walkie-talkies. Two-way kasi... May nagre-receive, may incoming, may outgoing. Ito yung, kung maririnig ko, maaalala ninyo sa mga palabas, ito yung may mga ginagamit ng mga usually sundado. O kung napanood yung Descendants of the Sun, yung Korean drama, yung ginagamit nila Big Boss at saka nila Beauty. Yan yun. Okay, next. Okay, last type of tools in front office is the other, are the other materials and forms. So, maliban sa mga na-discuss na meron pang iba. Okay. So, this one, I know you are familiar with this. Ang tawag dito ay, ano kaya, para saan muna to? Ayan yung clue sa taas. This is used to record information about daily activities in front office. Ginagamit para i-record yung mga activities sa front office. It is also used to record intercommunication, inter-office communication. Ang tawag dyan is logbook. Very good, logbook. So, inter-office communication. For example, yung front office tatawag sa Human Resources Department. Yun, that is inter-office communication. Pero sa panahon ngayon, ang logbook, ginagamit na siya sa lahat ng establishment. For example, 7-Eleven, grocery, dati ang naka restaurants, ang nakalagay lang sa logbook before is the time, the date, ano, yeah, time and date, tapos name, address, and purpose. Ngayon, meron ng kasamang temperature. Dahil ngayon sa, okay, sa COVID virus. Next. Okay, this one, obviously, nakasulat naman siya sa picture. Ang tawag dyan is room 
key card. Key card. This is used to provide access to hotel rooms to, pro to avoid potential theft activity para hindi manahawan. So in other words, if you would remember, I told you before, kanina, na wala nang key rack sa mga modern hotel. Kasi nga, hindi na gumagamit ng susi. Ito na yung pinagamit. Ang tawag dito, key card. So, para siyang yung ticket sa LRT, ganun din siya kalaki. Tapos, ititikit siya dun sa sensor ng door. Para mabuksan yung door. Or isusuksok siya dun sa doorknob. At bubukas na siya. Ganun. Next. Ang pinapakita dito sa slide na to is the the brown area. This is used to display public information such as guidelines, notices, and promotions about related hotel services to guests. So, dyan na nilalagay yung mga guidelines, yung mga notice, yung mga mangyayari, mga promotion. Halimbawa, may concert. Dyan siya pinapost na related doon sa hotel. Ang tawag dyan, corkboard. Yan din yung naka- Uh, pinaglalagyan dun sa baba. Kung naaalala niyo sa school natin, meron dong mga estante na may mga iba-ibang department. <clears throat> Bawat estante. Ang tawag dun, bulletin board. So, yan yung pinagdibitikan. Court board. Next. This one. This is used to manually maintain the hotel folios of the front office. Ang pinapakita rito, Ang pinapakita dito, itong tray at saka itong kulay blue. Itong mga kulay puti, yun yung mga files. Okay, ang tawag dito ay guest folio rack. Diyan nakalagay yung mga papel patungkol sa mga guests. Para maayos siya at hindi kalat-kalat. Diyan siya nilalagay, guest folio rack. Next. This is used to hold hotel written documents for staff or guest use. Okay, hold written hotel written documents. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya sinusulatan, pero lalagyan siya. So, ang tawag dito ay, okay, empty envelopes. Para sa ano? Para sa mga staff at saka sa mga guests. Diyan nilalagay kung may isusulat. Ito yung papadala, okay? Next. Okay, this one. It is used to identify guests' bags and their other personal belongings. Ano kayong tawag dyan? Okay, ang tawag dyan is luggage tag. Ito yung nilalagay nyo din siguro sa mga bag ninyo as kitchen. Yung nakalagay, this is not your bag. Okay, this, is, this bag is mine. Tapos may nakalagay na name address, mobile, and email. However, sa hotel, ang nakalagay din dyan siguro, may mga ganyan, or more like the room number para hindi maligaw yung hindi maibigay pala, hindi maibigay sa iba ng porter or ng bellboy yung mga gamit. So, nakalagay siya, nakakabit siya dun sa mga bagahe. Okay? Para hindi mawala. Para malaman na sa yung kagamitan. Next. Ayan, nandiyan na yung tawag sa kanya. It is used to note all guests' complaints while staying at the hotel. So, yun yung ginagamit. Ang tawag dyan, ginagamit kapag may reklamo sa hotel. Ang tawag dyan is complaint, complaints register form. Yung mga reklamo. Ibig sabihin ng setang complaint. Complaint is reklamo. Okay? Halimbawa, ito, ito, ito. Although iba-iba siya. Pero dito sa nasa picture, nakalagay dyan, name, address, telephone, tapos kung para saan yung reklamo. So, halimbawa, hindi ka satisfied or may nawala, may nangyari sa hotel. At ang may kasalanan, siguro staff ng hotel. Yan. Hahanapin mo hotel complaint form. Okay. Hindi ba hindi yung magtatatalak ka, magtatatalak, magsisigaw, magwawala sa, sa lobby 
But, hindi na complaint register form. Kasi nakakahiya yun. Kaya nagwawala. Next. Okay. Ito, nandito na rin yung tawag sa kanya. Okay. This is the guest volume form. Ayan. Used to record guests' cash and credit transaction in hotel. Ano daw? Record guests' cash and credit transaction in the hotel. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga transaction ng isang guest, ng isang bumisita sa hotel, siya nakarecord. Whether cash, binayaran ng cash, ng physical na pera, o credit. Kapag sinabing credit, again, ito ginagamitan to ng credit card. Or, in other words, kapag sinabing credit, utang yun. Okay. Nakihan natin yung guest folio. Yung guest folio, ang laman niya is, ayan, nakalagay dyan yung arrival. Pag sinabing arrival, ito yung pagdating ulit. Ito yung pagdating sa hotel. Departure, yung pag-alis sa hotel. Ang tagal na pa yun ito, 1998. Five nights, di ba? Five nights siya sa hotel. Anong klase yung room? Two bedroom, condo type. Anong room number? One, one, one. Yung group? Tapos, ito na yung summary. Ito yung lahat ng charges. Ito na yung mga sinasabi dito na transaction. Okay? Hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga nakasulat sa transaction. Pero, ito siya. Yung araw kung kailan ginawa. Ito yung mga services. Nakasulat kung anong araw uh, yung transaction. And Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Tapos, ito yung mga presyo. Tapos yung mga dagdag at yung kung magkano lahat ng ginastos niya. Ayan. So, ayan. Ang tawag dyan ay guest polio form. May finifill up na ganyan pero usually computerized na like this one. Ayan. Resort data processing. Ito ay sa resort. ba diba sabi ko nga, kasama ang resort sa hospitality business establishments. Hi, next, another type of form is this one. Ano kaya? Sige, hulaan ninyo. Naka ano yan, eh? naka jumble. Sige. This is used as a checklist of duties to be completed on a particular shift in the front office. So, dyan daw nakalagay yung mga, kay mga kailangan gawa na dapat makompleto. In a particular shift, ano ba yung shift? Ito yung oras na pagtatrabaho ng mga trabahador. Yan yung first shift, second shift. Yan. It is also used to record events that have happened throughout the day, similar to diary entries. Ang tawag daw dyan, daily running shift. Okay? Throughout the day, tatandaan ninyo, ginagamit siya checklist siya na mga kailangan gawin. Okay. Lahihan natin. Ayan siya. Ano yung mga kailangan gawin? For example, ang duty ay ano oras ba? 6 to 2 p.m. Ayan yung mga kailangan gawin. Siguro chachikan dito kung nagawa ba o hindi. Tapos kung ano yung mga ginawa. Ayan. Siyang ilalagay. Visually inspect valves or leaks. Siguro dito ay yes or no. Yan yung mga checklist. Anong tawag dito? Daily running sheet. Okay. Next. Ayan, nakasulat ulit. Sa picture kung ano tawag sa kanya. This is used to track guest luggage movements in the hotel for check-in and check-out stay. So, ang tawag sa kanya is errand card. Errand card. This is used to track guests. Okay. Ang ginagawa daw siya, titignan kung ano yung ilan yung mga daladalang gamit sa check-in at check-out. Ito, departure. Di ba, sabi ko nga kapag departure, so tatandaan ninyo doon sa lesson natin, kapag departure, ito ay pag-alis. Okay. Paglabas na ng hotel. So, meron ding arrival errand card. So, anong nakasulat? Ganito din. Sino yung bellboy? 
anong room number, pangalan ng may-ari ng mga luggage, at saka yung date. Suitcase, binibilang na kung ilang maleta, ilang briefcase, yung pag-arrive, at saka yung pag-alis. Yun ang errand card. Okay? Errand ay card. So, hanggang dito na lang pala. My question is, did you learn something? Okay, do not end the video just yet. Okay? Kasi may gagawin kayo. Did you learn something today? I hope you do. So, get your notebook. The PH in notebook or home economics notebook. Write numbers 1 to 5. Like this. Kung wala ang notebook ninyo dyan sa inyo, take a screenshot and write this. Yan. Tapos, after writing it down, ayan, take the screenshot on the next slide so you can answer the subject activity without using much data here in the video. Self-check. Okay, sige, pa screenshot. Match the statements in column A with column B. The terms in column B. Write letter, the letter of the correct answer on your notebook. Before anything else, Check your classroom screen later for I will be posting your first recorded quiz in front of the services. The next slide is the self-check activities, so take a screenshot. But the front office quiz, probably I will send it to your group chat and post it in the stream and FB, FB page, or FB group, rather. Okay, so this is the quiz. Lagay nyo sa notebook nyo. Screenshot. Okay. Hintayin ko kayo mag-screenshot. Wag mo na mag-end. Take a screenshot. Okay. Are you done? If not yet, siguro post. Para mag-screenshot nyo siya. Yan. Post. And then, do not forget. Again, reminder. Do not forget to visit your classroom and send me at the end. Thank you and God bless. Keep safe. Goodbye. Until see you until next video lesson. Bye.